So, first off, how you doing today, Coach West? I'm pretty good. I, I yes. ate a good, a good breakfast of meatballs, and I spent a bunch of time on Zoom with three young hoodlums. Hoodlums. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, today, today we're going to be talking about goals. What's cool. your goal? What's my goal? And how we can help each other reach our goals? Awesome. So, first off, my name is Zion Thresh. I'm 18, ready to be 19 Friday. And I grew up on the east side of Baltimore. So, we're going to first off, we're going to talk about my seven steps. So, I'm going to ask you, what is your long term future goal? Uh, long term future goal, I want to own a gym that uh, provides access to gym space for kids. All right. So you want to help out the youth? You yeah. Want, so, so basically you want to coach youth? Yeah, I do. Yeah. All right. So with that, do you, what's, what, what can you do as a short-term goal for you to reach that goal? For you to help the youth? Um, I don't know. I guess I got to learn how to train people. And I need to, uh, I don't know, do I need to own a gym? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess you can. First off, and, and you don't got, first, you don't got to start off owning a gym. You can go go to the gym and learn some exercises because you can teach the kids. Oh, okay. And first off, you first off, you need to learn warm ups and exercises for yourself. But first of all, you can't teach kids and you, you don't know the exercise because you don't want to hurt them. That's so true. You can mess yourself up. That's true. So if that's one step you can do. Go to the gym and learn exercises. Okay. You can I can do, do that. that. Then my next step is going to ask you, do you got like a, dead, a deadline you want all this by accomplished by? Like a time you want this done by? Yeah, I think it'd be reasonable for me to do it in about uh, two years. All right, two years. That's good. So you going you gonna have to. Hmm, let me see. In two years, so you you gonna have to be focused. That's when the focus come in. Got it. And if you don't know what focus mean, that mean you really gonna have to grind. Mean your word. If you really wanna teach the youth, teach the youth. That mean you really gotta. Go to go not go to school. You can go to gyms, learn exercises. Some get find first. You can find a coach to coach you. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, you can get a coach. A mentor, yeah. Can, so he can teach you, and you can help get to your deadlines. Got it. So with that, I got measurables. Like, do you got any measurables? Like stuff you can know you accomplished that step. Um, what do you mean by measurable? Um, like, well, how can I put this? I wrote it down. Like measurables, like, like steps. Like if you accomplish some, like how would you know you accomplished that thing? Oh, okay. So, like, how do I know if I'm learning enough exercises? Yeah. It's your kids? Oh, um, I guess I need to, I don't know. I need to learn some every week or something like that, right? Mm-hmm. Like, you could, like, do exercise, like, learn this exercise one week. And then, like, next week, you can be learning another exercise. Oh, okay. So, like, maybe every week I master one new exercise? Yeah, like okay. you, or maybe or maybe two if you can do two. Okay, all right. So every week I need to master one or two new exercises. I like that. Yeah. Perfect. So that's going that's going to lead us to write it down. So once you got all that, like I want you to like get a piece of paper and write your steps down. That like you can write steps down. All right. Like write your goal down. Like write your goals. And once you write your goals down, I want you to go over it and then read it and see how you feel about it. 
Because I feel as though if you can, if you write it down, you can't always go back to it. Like you, you can never forget it. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So that's 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 one step. And then if you got any more, once you finish that, where you can cross that one out, then write your next step. You can do that. So can every have, day you can know what you got to do. Got it. Can I have more than one goal on here that I'm working on at the same time? Yeah, you can write me how many goals you want. Okay, so if I want to learn new exercises, what else do you think I need to get to, like, own the gym and be running this gym? Oh, come in. Uh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to help them out with these bigs. That's all right. Micah, are you listening? Kinda. Are you watching TV? No, someone else is watching TV. All right. So what else can I do for my goals? Corey? What were your, what were your goals again? That's what I thought. Wait, Corey something or something. You know, when y'all talk about your goals, I so listen I got to you. So the thing that you can do to, like, get your goal is basically, like, as I said, teach the kids, teach the kids and stuff. Like, like no, nah, get the mentor from the guy that uh, volunteers teaching kids at a gym. Get a mentor. How do I know if I'm, if I'm ready to, like, own a business, though? It's all up to you. It, it's not, it's not, I can't tell you how you feel. You might feel different one day. You might feel different another day. If you're fully committed to owning this gym, then that's your, that's your thing. You're going to own this gym how you want to own the gym. All right. This is Coach West speaking. I disagree. Uh, why you say that? Because if Michael wants to be a chef, the way that he knows he's going to, he's ready and prepared to be a chef isn't just like, oh, does he wake up that day feeling like a chef? Yeah, I feel like a chef every day because I'm always whipping up in the kitchen. We didn't that, ask you to talk because you wasn't. Does that make you a chef? <laughs> huh? I wake up every day and I feel like an astronaut. Does that make me prepared to be an astronaut? Yeah. No. I mean, if your mental mind I is. <laughs> oh, I'm not. Oh, All right. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. This is the whole goals thing. Is how do I know if I'm prepared and if I'm preparing? So how would you know if you prepare or are you preparing? Well, a gym is a what? It's a six piece. It's a business. Basically. So I need to be business ready. Business ownership, business management. Same as Micah. Micah wants to be a chef. This coach was speaking, right? Yeah. It is. So Micah wants to be a chef. He doesn't only need, he wants to be a chef at his own restaurant. He doesn't only need to know how to cook food, right? That's maybe the least important thing of owning a restaurant. So Zai, we, we're, keep, we're, gonna, we're keeping rolling. And I was saying uh, that a gym is a business. So the other side of this is I want to be able to coach kids, but I also need to manage this business, right? Yeah, so... You can remember this thing about that. If you can, you want to own your own gym, or you can work in somebody's gym and teach the youth. Like Maybe two that's, ways, that's two ways you can do that. That's a so great step. What you want to do? That's a good call. So maybe I maybe I need to get an internship. Yeah. So uh, work at a gym, gym, and learn the gym business. And then once you work at the gym, it's probably some people at the gym, they can lead you into the way. Matter of fact, once you get into the gym, you probably can speak to the person who own that gym. He can lead you to the way you can own, own your own gym. Like he can give you advice. Okay. So another, a, a gym owner mentor. Yeah. So I need like a coach mentor and I need like a gym owner mentor. Yeah, you had two coaches. 
That's great advice. One to help you teach exercises and one to help you own your own business. That's really good advice. All right. So how do I, how do I know if I'm accomplishing that goal? Um, you will know you're accomplishing that goal because you will feel first, first of all, you will feel yourself getting better at the exercise. No, you, you know how to do the exercise. And then yeah. if you, for the owning your own business, like you could email him and him emailing you back and giving you advice. That's another step, you know, and you taking it farther. Well, that's a good call. So every week I could have a, like a phone call or an email with him where I ask another question and learn. Yeah. And Mike, I hope you're paying With everything, you have to go by step by step. Everything ain't going to happen right there. Got it. You never know what can happen. And since we just listened to Micah's goals, do you think Micah could do the same thing with being with a chef? Mm-hmm. Have a chef mentor and a business mentor? Yeah, because look, if he want on his own chef and he want to, um, he want he want him to be known. He could work at a, um, he can work at somebody restaurant and they can, he can learn good recipes and stuff like that. And then once he learn good recipe, he can find a way to make his own good recipe that nobody don't know. Got it. Awesome. Okay. So that's really good stuff. All right, I've got my goals written down. Now what? Well, yeah, once you got your goals written down, you could you could hang it up, like hang it up every hang it hang it up somewhere you could see it. Okay. Once like like by your bed, because say if one day you're feeling lazy and you don't want to get up. Once you open your eyes and you see that paper right there, you be like, "Who oh, I gotta get up because I gotta work for what I want." I love that. And it's another way if you got like a close friend, you mm -hmm. can tell him your goals, and he gonna he gonna always remind you. Oh, cool! So somebody else to hold me accountable. Yeah. Awesome, Corey. Will you be my, will you be my accountability friend? Awesome. All right. So every week. Will you send me a text and ask me how I'm doing on my goals? All right, cool. All right, I got an accountability friend. Yeah, so and once you once you hang it up, yeah, once you hang it up every day, well that should that you should get a habit of that. You doing that every day. And that's that should want want you to push yourself further. So okay. our next the next thing we're gonna talk about is my goal. So my goal is basically my goal is basically I want to find a good hard working job so I can leave money in my savings for my son because I, I don't want him growing up. Not saying, not, I'm not saying I want him to grow up to have everything, but I want him to grow up having everything he needs mm. if he don't got me. So the steps I need to take that, I need to look, I need to look for hard working jobs, apply for hard working jobs and see what's my, um, First of all, what's my experience? What I like to do, what I do. I can find steps and see what I like to do, fill in applications for that. And once I do that, I could, once I fill in applications and they hit me back, and once I get the job, I can go to work every day and really work hard and save my money and put it in my savings account. 